Hey guys, happy, oh gosh, it's it's Wednesday. <laughs> After, like I'm having, I struggle to remember the days of the week now because work life is crazy, so the days blend. So my apologies for the pause there. So I wanted to pop on today because, um, and I'm noticing all the not so great look up to my hair today, so apologies. <laughs> um, so, wanted to pop on because I have been asked by several uh, several of you to address the Genesis Heat Paint announcement. The company Genesis has announced um, that they're no longer going to be making the product. And I know so many of you out there want me to speak on it or share my thoughts. And I'm coming on to say that I'm, I'm really not in a place where I can speak on it right now nor would I want to, because I, I do believe that um, we have to keep in mind that we don't know how this is all gonna play out just yet. And I think we need to be patient to kind of let things unfold as they will. Um, that's, that's generally speaking, I know a lot of people are talking about it. Collectors everywhere are talking about this. What are we gonna do? How is this gonna change the community? How will this change the whole hobby? if there are no longer Genesis heat set paints. And yes, I agree that this could potentially make huge changes to our hobby and what dolls are gonna be available to purchase or you know how many Reborns are gonna be made if they're not able to, if artists are not able to get their hands on the paints that they need or that they're used to working with. And I, I have reached out to a handful of, of um, artists that I am in touch with. And um, I know that they are all weighing their options. I know a lot of the Reborn artists currently have a good stockpile, at least the ones that are putting out dolls on a regular basis, that this is their their line of work, this is their business, this is how they make money. They, they have um, a, a decent supply, at least the ones I've spoken to, of the paints that they need that will suffice for a while, probably until things play out, until we see how you know, if there's going to be another company that steps forward or takes over trying to pick up where Genesis left off. I mean, we really just don't know. And I think that it's important just to kind of not freak out just yet. <laughs> I know many people, and, and trust me, that initial like <gasps> gasp, oh my gosh, what are we going to do, went through my mind as well. And I reached out to a couple of friends and was like, oh my God, you know, what do you, what do you think? And we're, everybody's talking about it. And I understand that, but I also don't want to add any more stress or fear, um, to the already fearful public of the reborn hobby, you know, community, you know, because we're all concerned and I know artists are concerned. And I think I'm, I'm just kind of accepting the fact that, you know, changes may be on the horizon and, um, I'm going to let it play out and see what happens because you, you just never know. I mean, like I said, there could be another company that's able to step up and can access, you know, the, the product, the ingredients that, you know, Genesis was unable to. I don't know. I, I don't know what that, you know, I don't know what that ingredient is. I don't know what it is they're having trouble sourcing and why. So I guess because I don't know the whole story, I'm just, I'm I'm not gonna speak on it at this point other than just to share that I'm not gonna talk about it or what I think it could change in the hobby because I think we won't know that for a while. Um, I think as it plays out, um, people will continue to talk about it and that's normal. That's what we do. It, we all discuss things that are concerning to us in the hobby. Um, and I will eventually probably share my thoughts on it as as this whole thing takes place. Um, I know that there are a couple of uh, other products, other brands of products that are popping up that people say that they're gonna, you know, test, try out. Um, so time will tell. I'm, I'm gonna try not to get myself worked up over it though and stress too much. I know that the option is always there. Um, the artist that I talked to said that they would maybe move to painting more silicone or for the first time start painting silicone as a medium versus vinyl. Um, so there's there's a lot of like moving parts that could change our hobby or you know dolls will be able to be purchased in the future and how many are being made of this, that and other thing. There are many, many things that 
can change the dynamics. And so right now we just don't know what those things will be. So I would say to everybody that's concerned, I totally get it. I'm with you on that. Um, I'm concerned as well. Although I'm not an artist, I am a collector. So, you know, I want to be able to purchase the dolls that I love. Um, but I think we just need to wait it out. Let's, let's wait and see, um, you know, what companies could step up um, and see what happens. I, I mean, yeah, I just, I can't spend too much time worrying about it right now. Um, but I think we'll find out soon enough, like what, what, what the deal is. Like I have it in the back of my mind. Like I wish like, you know, my thought is a company like Bountiful Baby could potentially have a way to access and, and source whatever is needed to make heat set paints that we could use. I mean, they're a big enough company that, you know, I feel like maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out into the universe and maybe it'll just happen. <laughs> I don't know. But I am with you on the fact that it, it could bring potential big changes. And so um, we'll have to wait and see. You know, I always, you know, I've said, you know, like a thousand times. I like to hope for the best, but I always prepare for the worst. <laughs> that's kind of how I attack most anything in my world. Uh, so I think that that's a good way to kind of approach it and just kind of wait and see what where the cards fall, so to speak. And... Uh, Time will tell. So I wish I could share more info because I just don't know any. And I don't think that, I don't think a lot of us know exactly what, you know, impact this is going to have just yet. So I'm just going to wait it out. And hopefully uh, if I hear something, if I, if I hear of anything that's, you know, like big news that I want to share, I'll definitely bring it to you guys. But as of right now, I think we're all in the, we're in the shock and awe <laughs> stage of this announcement. And I think that artists are looking into alternatives. They're, they're going to see what else is out there. And, you know, we'll see. I know that there are air dry paints out there that some artists use, but I have not heard great things about them. And I think that that's the general overview and thought on most air dry, um, unless it's, you know, set with a heat set varnish when they're finished to seal it. Um, but I don't, I, you know, the varnish is all part of the whole Genesis thing. So we can't access that, you know, there's just, a, there's just so much to this. I feel like it's like a domino effect. <laughs> we have to just let it play out. So anyways, that's all I wanted to pop on to say, um, because I know I've gotten messaged. I've also had comments under my last couple of videos that people have asked me to speak on it and we're just not there yet. Let's wait, um, let's not jump the gun, let's see what happens. And then, you know, we'll obviously, all of us channel creators will be talking about it as it, you know, as it goes forward and there's something to talk about. But right now, let's wait and see. But I hope everybody's having a really great week so far. It is gorgeous out here today. It is about 80 degrees and sunny currently, hence why I'm still wearing a tank top. I've been wearing like a lot of fall clothes because it's been darn cold in the mornings and it's not gotten, you know, like we've had rainy, wet, cold stuff falls here. So, but I'm going to soak up the sunshine while I can. So I hope it's sunny where you are. Hopefully it's not too hot. I know a lot of you are in like super hot zone. Um, hopefully you'll get some relief from that. But anyways, guys, I hope you're having a great week. Stay tuned. I will be talking about this um, as we learn things, but right now there's just not enough to share to really get into it. And I don't want to stress people out unnecessarily, so we'll address it as it goes. So enjoy your week, guys, and you will see me very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.